Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. A new survey that's out, the highest number I've seen yet. Now, 96%, 96% of remote workers take a pay cut to permanently work from home. Remember, uh, for a while in the pandemic, a lot of people are like, ah, I just want to get back to the office and everything else. I mean, that's a pretty overwhelming number. Here to talk about this, Michael Cup, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Active Ops. Michael, I mean, that's that's about as high of a, a survey result as you're going to find. I guess people are saying, yeah, I want to work from home. Yeah, they sure are. That that And you're right. That survey is the highest we've seen. And we, we, we watch these things closely because we work with financial services companies on a daily basis. And we haven't seen anything that high. But, yeah, there's, there's genuine stress about returning to the office that uh, or they just like the luxury of, of working at home on their schedule without without forced distractions. They may have distractions, but they're not, uh, you know, the water cooler talk. There have been a lot of debate about the pros and cons with a lot of companies that did it out of necessity. Have a lot of those inefficiencies and concerns been worked out at this point so it's a better experience on both ends? It is, yeah. So initially we saw productivity. Our systems actually allow us to see how things are going in banks with, with production. And, and we saw it go down Im- Im- immediately, obviously, for, for obvious reasons, getting people connected, getting them used to being on Zoom meetings or, or video calls, et cetera. But that productivity quickly rose above, actually, where, where it was prior to the pandemic. Uh, then it kind of leveled out, actually, because some people got into different challenges, whether it was handling their home life or maybe they had kids or elderly people in their homes, but they have worked that out and they've gotten used to the technology. So so it's, it really isn't a, a challenge of technology working for them. It's about the, the personalities and the performance. And, and we are starting to see a little performance go down, um, but, it's, but it's just a settling out. And I think companies need to learn to manage that better. Michael, there have been this assumption that it would all be, you know, pretty much back to normal once you know we we were not talking about uh anything re- resembling a pandemic and at this point it's pretty evident that you know it's just a matter of time before we're looking at something referred to as endemic rather than a a pandemic but could this type of information suggest that really these trends are are going to continue i i think it is and, and especially for employers that are going to take kind of leadership positions they when, when employees learned that they could work from home and they could actually be more productive and they didn't have to have the stress of getting in the car and commuting to an office and finding parking and things like that, what they found is that they, they could achieve this and, and they, they felt better about it. And they spent less money trying to do it. And now companies are trying to resolve that because there are some, you see some very big financial services companies saying, no, we want everybody back in the office. And then that's where the great reshuffle, the great resignation, whatever you want to call it, is going to come in. And the, and the smart company is going to appeal to that flexibility need of employees. And to that end, with with remote workers, they're getting called back to the office. They don't want to go back. Um, you know, it sounds like this might be a window of time in which they can speak up and, and make their opinion known. Yeah, and it sounds like based on this survey that they're willing to actually give up some to get that flexibility. So, But but it absolutely is. I, I think just waiting to join you, I heard a couple of advertisements of people looking for employees to hire. So there, there is it is a unique time that employees have the leverage that they didn't have before the pandemic, and, and they're, they can make those choices. Maybe they do give up a little salary, or maybe they do give up some benefits, but they, they feel better about it because they're they're sitting where they want to work and they're closer to the family or whatever that, that motivation might be. Yeah, I mean, to your point, specific here in South Florida, Michael, I mean, the the unemployment rate in, in Broward is 3.6% and Palm Beach County is 33 Right now, a record low unemployment rate of 1.4% in Miami-Dade. I mean, it's it's pretty remarkable. So, yeah, there are, there yeah. are far more job openings than there are people looking for work right now in, in real time here. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of that. <laughs> that's that's right. That's right. And it's it's interesting because companies need to figure out how to optimize that. You know, they, they have to understand that people are going to work different hours. They're going to work. Uh, they're going to work so in some cases longer hours, but there's peak periods where they where they will get be most productive. And understanding that and getting that data for companies will allow them to kind of make this seamless and, and useful for everyone because it can be hyper productive if you get the right people and put in the right processes. Appreciate it. It's Michael Cup, Senior Vice President of Marketing at Active Ops.